first in this bathroom. That's better. And now I can take this off and say hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's video. We are doing another random place makeup tutorial, doing it in a public bathroom around two, in a pandemic. Now while I get set up, let me tell you why we are here today. It is super hot here, yo. And everyone told me it would be cold, but anyways, let me just get this sweater off first. So today has been a long day. If you're watching my vlogs, you'd know what we did, but basically we were just running around trying to get the neighbor's sister ready for her matric farewell. Speaking of which, hello neighbor. Hello. He is keeping me company. But I have an event tonight. It's the send off dinner for the committee I was a part of for the past year. And I didn't quite want to do my makeup at six o'clock this morning and have it survive the whole day. Instead, I decided I will just do it in a family room bathroom. And that's where we are now. So I'm going to get started with my primer. This is the Essence Prime Plus Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Primer. I grabbed my empty one, so I don't know if I'm going to get anything out of here today, but that is going to be a-okay because I'm only going to do makeup on the top part of my face because I'm not going to be taking my mask off at this event. So why would I need any makeup on the lower half of my face? Besides, then, if I'm tempted to take my mask off, I'd be too embarrassed to do it because it'd be a line where my makeup ends and it'll look funky. So I'm using my desire to not look like a dumbass around people against me to count in my favor. Now, obviously, we are in a mall, so there is a lot of noise in the background, as I'm sure you can hear. After all, we are in the bathroom area, but I do hope the sound works enough that you can hear what I'm saying and that the echo is not too bad. I'm gonna wet my beauty blender so I can put on the foundation. I don't need to be hogging the family room. I'm just using it for business today. So for foundation today, I'm actually using the Stella foundation. No idea which one or what color. I um, brought my little sample container and took myself a sample because I felt like trying it out. Felt like I was in a high school year while I was taking it. But I'm gonna scoop some out and I'm gonna apply it on my face. It is super runny, but I think it looks very cool. I'm excited to try it. Let's hope that much is enough for the part of my face you're gonna see. So I'm gonna start on my forehead and blend it out. That blended gone, basically. You can't see any of it. Man, I was expecting higher coverage on this thing. I'm so excited to try it. Am I doing something wrong? So maybe just the sound of the window or something on the door. Every time we hear a sound outside, we're stressed, okay? It is stressful. Because I don't want to be in here and then someone knocks on the door like, hey, I need to come change my kid or something. I'm like, I'm, I'm a little busy, sorry. Like, I feel so bad. So it's like this foundation is too watery and most of it was absorbed by my beauty blender. So that's what we're working with today. Anyways, on to concealer. I'm using this LA Girl Pro Liquid Concealer in the color Natural. It is my go-to concealer if I'm not gonna necessarily be wearing foundation because I wasn't sure if I was gonna find a foundation tester and being a panini and all that. So instead of taking my super white concealer, I went for the safe one that I could use instead of the foundation if I really need to. I still haven't decided how glam I want to go today. It took me forever to pick what I wanted to wear because number one, I don't have most of my fancy outfits. I borrowed them to a friend. And number two, I don't have warm outfits. And apparently it's very cold these days, which I've been sweating the whole day. It is so hot here. But I do believe Google when they say it's gonna drop to like 9 degrees tonight and I don't want to be sitting there at the table shipping my butt off. So you do what you gotta do at the end of the day. I'm not gonna show you now because I didn't bring it. I'll put it on closer to the time. You know, I didn't want to come lugging everything into this bathroom. By the way, I'm just setting my face with this translucent setting powder and my freshly clean kabuki brush. But yeah, I'm gonna wear black leggings, black knee-high boots over them, a black long sleeve shirt so that I'm nice and warm and then I have this really big like green winter jacket that I think looks pretty decent that I'm gonna wear over that. The jacket I wore in this picture but instead of stockings I'm wearing leggings. For my eyebrows I don't have a spoolie, it broke when I was cleaning all my makeup so for the time being I'm gonna have to pretend to push them in the right direction. Then I'm gonna use this Julian eyebrow pomade and then my usual eyebrow brush and I'm gonna work it into my brows. You know, I have the camera in one of those things you usually stick a GPS in, you know, that like suction cups to the car's window. And I have it stuck on a window, on a window. I have it stuck on a mirror, which is quite convenient because now I can actually see what I'm doing no matter where I'm looking. 
you know, we are early for the event. I'm definitely on time because it's only what, like three, four? It's 10 past four now. I normally have to be there at six. And if I'm there exactly at six, I'll be early. But I'm still rushing just to minimize the chance of someone walking in on us doing this. But because I'm rushing, it looks like I'm having some intense brows today. The nice thing is I didn't have to pack my contour palette. I didn't have to pack blush. I didn't have to pack those brushes either, which are usually the big ones, so I have a lot less stuff in my kit today. It was pretty easy to travel with. It's pretty nifty. And then tomorrow I'm doing a social distance thing where I can take my mask off and I don't have the makeup to do the rest of my face, so we're just gonna deal. Those brows look fine, we're just gonna go with them. I feel like this one's smaller than this one, but I don't wanna make it bigger because then, you know, it's super intense. I did, however, bring my nose contour brush because you're still gonna see the bridge in my nose. And this is the only palette I brought because it has my favorite highlighter in it. And I'm gonna take the smallest touch of this dark brown because eyeshadows are pigmented. And I'm going to just extend this line from my brow and make the bridge of my nose skinny. You can see like here it's matte because my foundation and then the tip of my nose that just has some SPF face cream on it is nice and shiny. Let me blend this to the best of my abilities and look for the best because I don't have foundation powder or anything nude colored to cover it if it doesn't work out in my favor. What do we think of that contour? Is it gonna work? Is it too obvious? Next up is highlighter. So I'm gonna open this palette and I'm gonna take the usual, the rose gold, on a freshly cleaned brush. I'm super excited about the fact that I cleaned all my makeup. It's very nice. I'm gonna try and apply it right there on that skinny piece there. Blend it in right underneath the brow bone. Oh, this highlighter is not popping in this lighting. Damn. But I know it's there. I'm gonna put some on my cheeks because my cheeks are gonna show a little bit over my mask. I just need a little bit of shimmer there. This is a look today. I have this braid going on. It's very uncomfortable because this is like in the nape of my neck, so it's been like itchy the whole day. But I didn't do my hair for tonight. I was gonna straighten it, but then I was gonna have to straighten it again in the morning, and then I'm gonna have to get up early. And the whole point is I don't want to get up super early unnecessarily. Even though that is what happened, but I also tried like the soft bun thing, but it's not that great on the short hair. I haven't figured it out yet. But what I have figured out is that if I put it in a braid, starting like up here and then all the way to the end, it makes it like nice and wavy and that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. So I've had to deal with this the whole day because I didn't sleep like this. I should have, I just didn't. But also I'm glad I didn't have to redo it. So anyways, I'm gonna take this color with a little bit of this color on my blending brush and work it right into my crease. Now the dress code for this event is technically casual, but I'm gonna tell you now, no one's gonna pitch in just like jeans and a t-shirt because it's a send off dinner. Like it's our goodbye end of the year function. How are you gonna do that in t-shirts and jeans? I'm also gonna take this color under. Moral of the story is I want to look nice and I want to look put together, but I don't wanna to look too obviously nice and too obviously put together that I look like I'm overdressed. I'm gonna take this brush and pick up a little bit of this light brown and a touch of the dark brown, tap it, work it more directly into my crease, start building some color. So yeah, we're going for natural, casual glam. Honestly, just an excuse to do a fun video like this. I haven't done a video in a random place in so long because where am I supposed to go these days? There's only so many places on the farm I can film. I can't really do it. Doing my makeup in a museum video because you guys know we live in a museum kind of like a cheap way out of it so anyways I'm gonna pick up this flat shader brush and I'm gonna pick up this nude like beige orange toned color whatever you want to call that with a side of duke hair and I'm gonna work it onto the inner part of my eye and all over the lid I'm gonna put the drama in the outer corner now that I've done the light color I do want a little bit more of what I have in the crease on the lower lash line so I'm gonna pick it up with this brush and just drag it in there you know what's the advantage of the fact that I'm wearing a mask the whole night? You get to hide this on my face, and this on my face, and this on my face. I've been breaking out because I've been using new skin stuff and I don't like it. Okay, so I brought a lot of brushes, what they say. I'm gonna take this little pointed blending brush, pick up the darkest brown in this palette, and start right in this outer corner. And I'm gonna blend it into the crease and onto the lid. The way we go quiet when we hear someone else. <laughs> Stress. The nice thing is I'm stressing in private this time. Usually with these random places videos, I'm like stressing out in public. People are actually staring at me. I'm gonna blend over that a little bit to really blend it in seamlessly. I'm gonna take a bit of the light brown and drag it in a little bit. Just to have a blend going and to lessen that orangey, nudey, beige color we've got going. And I 
basically put eyeshadow. I don't think I want a lot of shimmer, so I'm just gonna go in with my highlighter in the inner corners. Probably a bit of a gold highlighter as well. Just drag it in a little bit instead of actually applying shimmer on the lid. Do you feel well versed in makeup now since we've been dating? More so. More so? If you were ever to have to date someone else, you'd be like, oh babe, I need a bit more of this, 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 and she'd be like, okay. <laughs> Oh, you really need to try a more slanted counter brush for more what now? No? What did you just say to me? For my waterline, I'm using black because that's the only eyeliner I brought. I distinctly remember watching a Bobby Brown video saying if you apply eyeliner in the waterline, you always have to take it all the way through. And I'm like, no. On my eye shape, on my eye shape it works to only have it on the outer third. And like, I appreciate her teaching things to people. She does have good videos and she has helped a lot of people learn how to do their makeup. But the thing is, there are no rules and different things work for different people. Now we're gonna try our best and apply some black liquid eyeliner, which actually don't feel necessary today, but I'm gonna do it anyways, cause it's me style. Wouldn't be a me video if I didn't do eyeliner. Now I'm suddenly standing way too far away from my mirror. I don't think I'm gonna do false lashes with a small wing like this. Mm. I think I'm just gonna survive with my own lashes for a change. Did you bring mascara? I did bring mascara, almost did it. Now I'm sore from standing and walking all day and I decided to do a video where I'm standing today. How lovely. I really got eyeliner on my cheek, right where you're actually gonna see it. Why? It's a beauty spot now. Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't look that bad. I'm using this Essence I Love Extreme Mascara, because it's not dry and my other one is, and I'm now regretting not bringing my lash curler. That did not just happen. That did not just have to happen. You know, I'm talking about how it's been so long since I've done a random place in makeup tutorial, but I have an interesting one planned for you. Which should go out before the end of this year. Yeah. I say that now, but this video is probably going up in November. Let's curious, I'm filming this on the 18th of September. Nice. Very nice. Dropped my wand and caught my wand. I think after this, I'm gonna put the mascara down. I look great, too good. Don't wanna have any more accidents, okay? You know what would have been really nice right now? Nice. A lash curler. It would really make them show. Hey, and it only took me 34 minutes to do this, chatting included. I'm quite proud. It's not bad timing. We're almost done. But then this is the final result. I'll show you the full look tonight with the hair down and the actual outfit and everything. But yeah, this is gonna look like a full face of makeup with my mask on. No one's gonna be any wiser. But then I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this today. I hope you enjoyed watching me be stressed while doing my makeup. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye! What I'm thinking of? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, don't panic, I'm thinking, I'm thinking.